As you mentioned, seven of the top 10 killers of human beings are either directly or indirectly linked to metabolic disease, specifically insulin resistance and or diabetes. This is not like a big problem. It is the problem. It is the health crisis on the planet for our species. We have very low probability of living a long and vibrant life if we don't have an active, aggressive, on-guard approach towards hunting for metabolic inefficiencies. And it starts with early markers in our 20s and 30s, as Zane is mentioning, hey, my body's getting different results. What are your labs? What's your fasting insulin? What are, what are some of these markers telling us? These ins Nobody wakes up one day with diabetes, right? Like. Mm -hmm. This is going on 10, 15, 20 years in the background, depending on your life. You don't wake up with a heart attack. You don't wake up with cancer. These things are building and they're all metabolic diseases. They're all diseases of energy dysregulation. There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of attention on this subject of longevity right now. And in my experience, the single greatest thing other than not smoking that you could do to add a meaningful strategy to your life is delay insulin resistance as long as possible, and you might even prevent it.